It is no longer a secret that David Morade, a high-ranking member of the Jubilee Party, does not support Deputy President William Ruto's bid for presidency. Indeed, on Saturday, Morade disclosed plans to seek an advisory opinion at the Supreme Court on whether Ruto is eligible to contest the country's topmost political office in 2022. In light of these differences with the country's second-in-command, the former Gatanga legislator announced on Sunday that he has decided to relinquish his position in the ruling party. I find that my position as the vice chairman is no longer tenable of Jubilee because there's no way we are going to sit in the neck with somebody who I'm um, uh, alleged to be blocking from uh, assuming the office. Addressing the press at his home in Nairobi, Morade, however, remains adamant that he will stand by his sentiments to the effect that Ruto is not the right person to succeed President Kenyatta. That the utterances we made in Bale, in Vihiga, the utterances I made in Rorieda yesterday, I stand by those sentiments. And those are my own personal views. And I believe I have a right to my opinion. And I have a reason for having and holding those views. And anybody who has an issue with my views should take me on. And let's have this conversation. Let's remove emotion. Let's remove insults. Let's remove innuendo. But even as he bowed out of the ruling outfit where Ruto is the deputy party leader, Morade distanced the president from his remarks, which he says represent his personal opinion. The party leader has already pronounced himself. The party leader has said he's not going to get there. He will not be drawn in this conversation about 2022. So when I and the Secretary General make certain pronouncements, then it is bringing in the name of His Excellency. I, I, I wanted to be very, very clear with the media that when I speak, I speak as David, David Murade. And I may have a position, which is my position. And I'm not taking my brief or my cue from any other person. A defiant Morade dismissed claims of an existing political deal that requires President Kenyatta and the Jubilee Party to back Ruto's presidential bid. As they allege, there was an MOU for... the president to support the deputy president for another 10 years after he finishes his term i'm challenging them to produce it haguna mou in a future raila had his with kibaka it became public raila had his with kalonzo it was made public if there was one between uhuru and uh, william uh, deputy president let them produce it the now immediate former Jubilee Vice Chair says he is at liberty to proceed to the Supreme Court with like-minded Kenyans on the issue of Ruto's candidature in 2022. Eric Biagon reporting for Channel One News.